On October 16, 2017, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter mission celebrates 100 lunar days of being at the moon. It's a big accomplishment. Now, you may be wondering, if the spacecraft launched way back in 2009, how are we only at 100 days? What is a lunar day, and how does it differ from a day on Earth? On Earth, a day is about the time it takes for the Earth to turn once on its axis with respect to the Sun. A lunar day is about the time it takes the Moon to turn once on its axis with respect to the Sun. And that's about 29 and a half Earth days, so it's about a month. Now, you may be confused about how the Moon rotates if we always see the same face from Earth. The answer lies in a process called synchronous rotation, which is caused by tidal forces between the Earth and the Moon. We always see the near side of the Moon because as the Moon orbits around the Earth, it is also continuously turning. In fact, it rotates at the same rate it orbits the Earth, on average. So, a lunar day takes about the same amount of time as one complete lunar orbit. 100 lunar days means 100 chances to observe a complete day-night cycle on the Moon photographing the surface with different sun angles, measuring the rising and falling temperatures, and studying the way certain chemicals react to those daily changes. If we want a better idea about long-term trends and processes on the moon, being able to study it for 100 days and counting is a good place to start. And thanks to all the data gathered from LRO during this time, our understanding of the moon has increased exponentially. Stay tuned for our next video that explores the significance of being at the moon for 100 days and what we've been able to accomplish in that time.